Hi there, friends and adventurers. Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And not too long ago, I did a video on the trunk space of Tara, aka my garage on wheels. I thought it would also be beneficial to do a separate tour of the front or cabin space of Tara. You guys don't really see that space very often. And while it's not the most exciting space, I have given a lot of thought and a lot of tweaking to this space to make it as efficient and organized and helpful to me as possible. I've also made sure that anything I need when I'm in the back, I can easily access from the front <clears throat> and um, that anything I might need while driving, I can have easy access to. So um, I, would like to uh, show you, like I said, I think it might be helpful to see how I have it set up and um, maybe give you an idea or two that you haven't thought of before. So if you're not already subscribed and you do like this kind of content, please consider giving it a subscribe. Definitely consider a thumbs up if you find this content helpful. And without further ado, let me show you the front of Tara and how I have her organized for everyday use and adventures. So the first thing I'm going to do in this tour is keep my tushy right where it is and then bring you over here with me so that you see what I see when I'm driving. Okay, so... Um, oh, I already have a little bit of dust and it was so nice and clean before the Georgia mountains. <laughs> I did wipe it down really well though. Um, so you can see I have my, um, good luck crystal up here. I have <clears throat> a couple of masks, my scrunchie for easy access. I also have a couple of backup masks and hair clip there. If I focus down here, I have some spare disposable gloves and masks just in case, some hand sanitizer, some lens cleaner, some bug repellent wipes, uh, my pepper spray, and then I also have the mesh screen and magnetic window curtain for this particular window and my tire gauge so that I can check my tire pressure. And then um, down kind of tucked there, I have an umbrella and my brush, uh, my broom, so that I can sweep the area. Um, in the console, I always keep my water bottle handy, normally my coffee cup. I have a couple pairs of sunglasses, a couple of good luck crystals, my remote to my tripod and some chapstick, my earbuds in case I need to grab them quickly, my cup holder inverter, which I absolutely love. I've talked about it before. I can charge two 12 volt items at once, one AC item or two USBs. I believe it's a 150 watt, um, but you don't want to go over that anyways when using your vehicle to charge. In here, I just keep my camera battery to charge, my survival tool that has the seatbelt cutter, window brake, and knife with a little LED light, uh, tide stick, chapstick, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, where my charger plugs in. I have the seat. Um, steering wheel seat tray tucked nicely there. <clears throat> I keep a spare microfiber towel handy, although I do have one tucked under the seat there. Tissues. My fanny pack is tucked nicely next to me. Uh, my day bag is right here for easy access and use and for emergencies. I always have this right next to me when I'm driving. And then it's on my fanny pack or backpack when I'm hiking. I have this handy dandy seat cover that I can easily use to cover up anything that I don't want seen if I'm going to be getting out of the car. And it goes down all the way so it can cover my jackery or anything that I may have sitting there. As you can see, I have my umbrella. And then I just have typical things that you would keep in there. Um, spare napkins, spare sunglasses, things like that. 
a little air freshener. I have my hands-free phone stand for navigation purposes, my glasses case, my wallet for easy access with my interagency national parks pass and Florida State Parks pass so that I don't have to search for it when driving. And then when I'm out of the car, it's always on me. Some glass cleaning cloths where I have extras in here as well. And then in here is all of my charging cords that I always need, my aux cord, things like Benadryl, ibuprofen, Tylenol, stuff like that. All right, now I am going to get out and show you around the other side. This just gives you a better view of how I have my door set up now that you can see it a little better. Oh, I need to wipe there, I missed a spot. And then a spare bungee, my broom brush, my umbrella, and under here, as I've shown you before, I have a boot scraper that I keep tucked up there for when I come back from hikes so that I can scrape my boots. I also have this uh, memory foam seat cushion so that it helps my lower back and takes the weight off my tailbone for long drives. It is very helpful, although I do want to add a little lumbar cushion for some extra support for sure. Um, on here, I have attached, which you'll see better around the other side, a little side organizer. So I'll show you what I keep in that when I go around the other side. And I also have one on that side as well. And as you can see, I keep my headlamp on that side now, since that's normally the door I go in and out of. <clears throat> All right, let's head around to the other side. Okay, this side is a little bit more exciting. <laughs> I also have the stretchy screen and magnetic curtain for this window, which you can see here. My umbrella, a solar charging um, expandable lantern, one of those bean bags that are the charcoal um, dehumidifying bags some windshield cleaner which you can kind of see here i've got a squeegee that's underneath the seat along with some extra towels in case i need to clean the windshield i keep some slip-on shoes now that it's a little bit cooler in case i don't want to wear my flip-flops my hiking boots my jackery 240 i always keep up here i need to wipe that off i guess my two spare waters and my one liter water bottle that i use to pour into my smaller drinking bottle i have my easy pop-up shade there in case i need it quickly and don't want to reach for my weather tech one <clears throat> As you can see here again, I have my day bag and I'll um, do a separate video to show you everything I keep in there because that's um, also, I think, maybe practical and helpful. I have my dry food storage in my soft cooler bag. And then behind this pop-up shade is in the little hidden compartment, my uh, charger for my Jackery 240 in case I have shore power and need to charge that up, as well as my binoculars, a book for reading, things like that. <clears throat> Get another look at my cup holder situation. Now this is the one side organizer I was telling you about. I always keep some wet ones right here so that I can easily reach them from front or back. And then in here, I have some of those Loom deodorant wipes in case I come back from a hike and have a stinky armpit emergency, <laughs> which is quite possible in Florida. <clears throat> On this side, I have the other one. So I always keep some sunblock and just some extra trash bags in here. I have a baseball hat carabinered on there and I just use one of those little hooks for my bag 
which I have one around the other side on that seat for a spare hat. And again, I have my headlamp for easy access. And I know I've shown you before, but I just really like it. So I'll zoom in here on my National Parks pins real quick as I fade out on the front seat. And there you have it, folks. I hope that this short little tour of the cab area of my mini vamper helped you out and maybe gave you some helpful ideas, some inspiration, some thoughts you may have not thought of before that could help um, integrate into your own routine. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I will be seeing you again very soon. Bye!